All right, so we have our database connection set up already, so we can connect to the database. Now we need to make our files of our of our CMS or our template actually reusable. All right, so we're going to be using a function called includes to do that, and we could use it some other functions, but right now we're going to be using that. So if you go to our localhost and we'll be in localhost CMS right this is our home page we're gonna be able to what we want to do is put that table that we made called category up here displaying some data all right some categories now let me show you something we have a lot of HTML in here and we need to get rid of some we need to make our code our files a little bit more reusable look at all the data here that is a lot of HTML and that's very confusing imagine having let me just make this smaller so that way you can see imagine having PHP also embedded in here that would make this unreadable all right so let's make this a little bit more reusable by taking it off and including it here in this include folder right so let's make let's go to the includes folder and let's create two new files I'm gonna call this header.php and I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna create another one called footer.php alright I'm gonna they're up here so I can work with them let's go back to index and let's just take this out from the body take it out and let's go back to header and paste it there let's go back and let's save it I'm, I'm clicking every time I'm in one of these pages here I'm actually command sing everything and if you are in the Windows machine you can control S so to save it alright or you can come here and save it but I think control S will do the trick for you fine so we have that let's include it let's go to index and let's just include that let's use that command and let's include it so let's open some PHP tags I'm so used to typing using my other editor every time I type PHP my other editor like this and I I press on the tab it will make the PHP tags for me so that's why every time you see me going like this and deleting it that's what it is I'm actually thinking that this is gonna do it for me but we need to find a probably a plugin for this editor to do that so but right now it doesn't really matter let's just get used to doing it like this so let's also use a function called include include this alright so what we want to include is a file called header.php and remember that's actually in another folder called include includes includes right here all right so that should do the trick let's go ahead and see that fresh let's see if we did it correctly there we go so it's working let's just make a mistake here and see what happens all right we we'll make a mistake and everything fails all right so we are good we just fix that up again perfect all right so let's do the same thing for the footer let's go ahead and take out a lot of things from the footer let's make sure this is for that and that's for that so we need that and this is for here we need that row also there and this is the footer right here so let's just take out the footer right here everything on the footer Let's take it out and let's go to footer paste it in there save it as you can see it's just saving the footer there and let's go back to index and include it now I'm gonna just copy and paste this actually let me make this bigger for you I totally forgot that I zoom oops command or control s uh, plus and that would make it bigger so that way you can see a little bit more clear what I'm doing all right I think that's clear enough let's also do some PHP tags down here all right we can make this a little neater by putting the PHP tags right there perfect all right I think we're good let's go back to it and we can see that we are in fact good include actually no we're not we don't see the footer in the left side we we'll just do it right here there we go now we see the footer 
perfect all right that's looking nice and let's also take out we have a bunch of all the data here let's just let me zoom out a little bit by pressing command uh, minus let's take out the navigation how about that let's take that out navigation we have a page content there also but let's take out the navigation and let's just leave that comment there so that we know it's navigation and let's go to includes make a new file called this navigation dot php there we go enter save it right here it takes me right to that file when I save it when I click on enter and then I go back to that index and I'm gonna include it right here so I'm gonna use this also to include it I'm gonna make this a little neater again oops so that way you can see what I'm doing all right all right so copy this put it into navigation right here uh, into the navigation comment navigation oops all right go back to it and we can see that our sidebar is there is it there we go it's there we make a mistake and our sidebar is still there but well that was a navigation on top I believe let's just go back to it and we can see that something is going on there it's actually telling me navigation there we go there we go all right now it's working so what do we have here in this file is a actually what we had in this file was was not the sidebar I'm sorry it was the uh, I was confused this with the navigation this is the navigation I'm sorry so that's what we had in the last file and I was confusing with the sidebar sometimes I go ahead of myself when I'm in my head so that's way so if I go here and I save this make a mistake refresh this you can see that we don't have a navigation there so that's the problem we fix it again we refresh it we got the navigation now let's get the sidebar out of here all right we want to make this as more reusable as possible we want to clean this up a little bit so where is our navigation let's zoom out a little bit so I can see it so right here it says block sidebar yeah we can see the navigation right here so I'm gonna click on this and all this is the navigation I mean the sidebar I'm sorry the sidebar all right so I'm just gonna take that out and let's just make sure that that's the one yeah it is so take it out and let's go create a new file and let's call this sidebar that PHP enter let's save it in here let's paste it and save it come back to index let's do an include also in here and we're gonna include this sidebar all right let's let me make this a little bigger for you so that way you can see what I'm doing all right perfect that's looking great isn't it all right so all we have left is content right here we have a lot of content here that you know it's I think it's good to actually take this content also add it here and put it somewhere else I think it's a lot of data here that we don't need but for simplicity I'm just gonna leave it for now as a matter of fact let's just take it out and then if we need it later on I will bring it back okay right now we we see here that that content is actually taking a lot of space there and we could reuse it somewhere else let's just make sure that's the one all right so we got the pager right here we got the third post and all right so what we need to do is we need to clean some of this out because we have a couple posts there that we're not going to be using so we see the header of the post this is the first post right here 
it ends right here. So this is all we're going to need actually, the title, the blog post, the blog post title, the page heading. All right. So we're just going to need one of these because we're going to make some dynamic stuff going on. So let's just take it out of here. Meanwhile, we're here. So let's just take this out, take this out, and we don't even need a pager. We can take the pager out too. All right. So let's save it. Let's come back to that file. It's, it should be saved already for us. All right. Let's just refresh it actually. All right. We can see something happening right here. Our navigation is going to the to this side, and it's a good reason why it's doing that. We've taken out some important stuff that we should not taken out, and I'm gonna fix it up in a minute. So, yep, that's the one that we took off that we should not have taken off, and let's do that right now. I just took out a div that makes this column eight right here. I'm going to put a comment right there on that page right now. Let's go back to it and refresh it. And you can see now everything is working fine now. All right? We're going to need only one of these. And the reason is because later on we're going to make this dynamic and it's going to have many of these automatically. All right? So anyway, I think we are done with this, restructuring this here. All right? So we restructure the home page for right now. All right? So take care. i see you in the next lecture.